What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Woodshop. Today's video I'm going to show you how to make a desk for your loving wife or yourself for a decently cheap price. If you're like me and you don't like throwing money down the drain on materials, this project is for you. This desk build is going to cost you no more than $200 and it's going to be super easy to build. So straight out the gate you're going to see me breaking down materials. I'm using my AccuCut by Craig to cut this piece of 3 quarter inch birch plywood 64 inches long by 22 and a half inches wide. You can get an 8 foot by 4 foot sheet of this for $69 at Lowe's depending on what's going on in the world with the pandemic and wars and all that kind of great stuff. After cutting out the desktop, obviously you have to take it in and clean up the edges. When it comes to plywood, you never want to leave raw edges because it's just layers of wood and it's super visible when you paint or stain it. So you want to use some kind of edge banding. I like to use just scraps of wood. It's super easy and cheap. A big brain way to make sure that these strips fit perfect is just to cut them oversized, attach them to your tabletop, and then cut them off flush right where they sit. Instead of measuring, you can just make sure that they're perfect. For the base of the table, I use some scrap 2x4s, they're about 10 foot long. I cut them right in half and that's going to be the legs, the frame, all the body pieces for the base. I said you could accomplish this table under $200 and I meant it. If you were to go to Lowe's right now or Home Depot and buy 2x6x10s, by by they're going to be about $13 each, depending on the day of the week because they change so frequently. You'll need about 4 or 5 for this project and that still keeps the bill around $130. After you buy your paint, your stain, your screws and all that stuff, you may end up topping out right at $200. Just to catch back up with what we're doing here, I am now breaking down the 2x4s that I cut up into all the dimensions that I'll need for legs, for the frame, for the supports, for the depth of the actual base. And then after that, we're going to pocket hole everything and move on to joining. With the legs for this desk, I wanted to keep with the farmhouse vibe and I went for an H frame style leg. I'm going to be painting everything white and it's not going to look like the tube steel H-frame legs but I really like this design and I think it'll be a great look for a simple desk like this. For most of my videos I like to keep them around the 10 minute mark but with this video I'm experimenting a little bit. I cut out a little bit of the fat. Some of the things that I normally would add in the video I took them out. If you have any questions and if there's anything that you feel like I missed or didn't show please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you appreciate this editing style and you'd like to see it more often, let me know that as well. Sometimes I feel like I have to over communicate things and make sure that you get the point, but I feel like my audience is smart enough to follow most everything that I'm doing. So let me know what you think. Which way should I stick with? So after my H-frame legs are done, I am making stretchers to span the distance between the two that will hold up the tabletop and secure and square off the whole table. I only showed two in this clip, but I actually do three. There will be two at the top of the desk base and one in the bottom back of the desk base. After the base is done, now I move on to the tabletop. I am staining it with Early American, mine and my wife's favorite stain. It is just dark enough and just light enough to look like a natural wood tone. You don't need to wear a respirator to stain. I think I had just gotten done sanding this tabletop, that's why I had it on, but if you want to wear a respirator, that's cool. You should always wear one to sand as seen here. Even though I am outside, it's still helpful to use a respirator. After I was done sanding here, I went ahead and painted everything white that was supposed to be white, and now it's time to set things up. This was a very awkward angle, but I am a professional at moving things alone, so I managed it. You can see here I don't have that third brace on because it was going to be difficult to take it into the room with it on. I add it on after I bring in the tabletop here in a minute. To secure the top of the desk to the base, I have hidden pilot holes inside of the frame of the base where I drive screws up and into the top of the desk. That way everything is tight and out of sight.
Keeping things off the top of the desk was really important to my wife, so I added a few shelves using the scrap wood left over from the original sheet of plywood and the 2x4s to make two shelves, one to hold her Cricut and one to hold the printer. I could have done a whole lot of things for storage for this desk, but the goal is to keep everything clutter free and clean so it can be a work area. So no drawers, no shelves other than the things that hold big machines. And now it is a clean work environment, except for that tiny little ant right there. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.